Hey guys, it is the History Nerd, back for part 9, 8, 9, something, part something, of the Gods and Kings uh, Austria playthrough. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, let's take stock of where we're at. Although, I mean, I guess you can just look at the video the other part, so maybe we we won't take too much stock of where we're at. Basically, we're off on a on a little adventure into Aztec land. Now, <clears throat> I gotta pick a new city for that great merchant, because that is now ours. Yay, marriage. It pays off, apparently. <laughs> so, taking a look at the forces here, they're kind of out of date. But, for the time being, that's okay. Hmm. Well, yeah. So, we got musketmen, pikemen, a nice little archery unit. We're going to have rifling next turn, which is going to be good for these guys. Uh, I wonder, can you upgrade while they're on a boat? We're about to find out. And you can wait. There we go, okay. So, while we push on this direction, I figure, just given the state of things, this is going to be a pretty easy war. I'm hoping. I have a feeling it will. Uh, Matt765432, Pincer, it's like you read my mind. These guys will come in nicely and take... I'm not even going to begin to try and pronounce these city names. So, they're going to take this city... Well, these guys, once I build them up, maybe, hopefully, <coughs> will push in for uh, this one I can't say, Texcoco. That's fun. Texcoco! So they're going to take that. And then from there, hopefully they'll just meet in the middle, and it'll be smooth sailing. So, if it goes according to plan, I want to get some artillery in here, and then... While we're fighting the Aztecs, we're also going to take on the Japanese. Because a two-front war never went bad for any German state ever. Uh, yeah, so that's the plan. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, so here's hoping. Here's hoping it's all going to work out. Uh, and a side note, the Austrian Inquisition, look at that. They haven't done jack. I'm not expecting them to do anything. It's, and I realize nobody should expect them, but, like, really, it's not worth it. It's not worth dumping the faith into the Inquisitors just to not have much happen. I think I've used up two, and I've got four followers back to Sikhism. That's kind of ridiculous. Blarg. Okay, so now we can't buy units with faith. There goes that idea. Alright. Why not? That didn't cost... Costs no maintenance for those. I guess I can't build one there. Alright. So that's what's going on there. I think we're just going to hold tight. I should really click next turn, otherwise this is going to turn into a two-turn rant. Uh, gonna just keep those guys up there and prevent the northern half of the continent coming to the aid of the Japanese. It is well that war is so tough. <clears throat> oh, 
Honestly, with our lack of money, I don't see it being a problem. Looks like it doesn't matter if I can upgrade these guys on boats anyway. Hmm. Okay. We'll leave these guys hanging around. Just in case I can upgrade them. Because that'll be much more helpful. It's going to put the war off for a little while. That desperately needs to happen. Unfortunately. But what, what, what can you do? Yeah, might as well get Austria's special unit. Actually, we can just forget about science for a little while and let it go on autopilot. Easy. I guess fertilizer is more important. Really not much you can do there. Now, considering the disparity of forces, the frigate might be much more useful taking Texcoco than that one. So, both uh, Matt and the Grammar Nazi uh, were wondering about factories. Why don't I build them? Uh, first off, why I haven't been building them is because I've just, I haven't thought of them. Uh, so, we're slowly building them up. But, my concern is, I totaled up before I started recording uh, all the cities I'd have factories in, and it works up to 24 gold per turn. Now, that's slowly not becoming much, but for a while there, that was looking at like over half of my income. So, it's kind of a slow industrial process going on in, in Austria, you know but I think it kind of has to be. Once we start making more money here, hopefully soon, uh, it shouldn't be too much of a concern. I hope. And I'm going to try not to build too many buildings with high maintenance. Oh, uh, that's kind of a habit of mine when it comes to Civ. Alright, we'll just leave them there. I did actually. No, I didn't. There we go. I wonder what the Japanese added. Will it tell us? I guess I can look it up. So there's Shinto. So, world religions, beliefs, what do they got? Prophets, shrines and temples, food, happiness from cities with population of six. Alright, nothing military to, militarily, I think that's a word, to worry about. Right on, that's what I like. Yeah. And you can just stay there. I'm sure the Aztecs won't mind. Hmm. So I think I'm just going to sit on that uh, that information discovered. Only reason why I'm building a harbor, so it links up. <clears throat> Otherwise I wouldn't be wasting the, uh, well, quote-unquote wasting the maintenance. Uh, yeah, so because I my plan is to take on the Japanese, doesn't make much sense making friends with them. In fact, I wonder if I've got a special diplomatic option with Theodora. Melima. 
No, not really, but oh, let's cool. do that. <laughs> How quickly diplomacy changes. Got to keep the Austrian News Network on their toes. Awesome, awesome read, by the way, Grammar Nazi. I thoroughly enjoyed the little news update. We can upgrade them. We're gonna need a lot more money. And we just got a lot more money. Yeah! <coughs> so... Rifleman... That's expensive. Worth it, though. And... Two hundred. That'll be a while. I still don't fully trust them. <laughs> I think the best thing Vienna can do for us right now is just make money. So many. It really isn't. There's hardly any workers in this empire. We need a lot more. But again, because I don't trust the AI, I don't like leaving it up to... Uh, Or because I don't trust the AI. Obviously, I don't like leaving it to the AI. Um, so it becomes a chore. So I keep my workers... Workers few. Few, but busy. I don't really trust him, either. Oh, she's fine. Fine! <laughs> working for the Austrian Foreign Office must really suck. So confusing. Hey. Oh, whoa. Whoa! Okay. Wow. Underdeveloped. I didn't even know we had influence in Cape Town. That's crazy. Still starving Austrians. <laughs> Tons of food. Uh, we got enough now. And my only concern is the lack... Yeah, that just kind of confused me a little bit. Did the pikemen just turn to lancers? Not really understanding that upgrade upgrade path. But okay. We'll go with it. I was hoping they'd just go riflemen. 
that makes the need to upgrade that front even more imperative, necessary, something. their border. You're gonna notice that. I don't know if I want to be doing this this quickly. I really wouldn't mind getting a siege unit down there. Also, since I'm not able to purchase cannons with faith anymore, it would make more sense to grab a tuna cannon. That should help with our push against the Japanese. And make it slightly more successful. Erg. Wow. Our cities are so backward. I don't think in the uh, in the pre-expansion you could actually set units in a uh, in a transport to go on alert. I think the only option was to just kind of sleep or spam the spacebar if you wanted to skip over them. So having that's a nice little feature. to make even more money. Upgrade to a Gatling gun and then we'll get a cannon and we'll be set. People are happy now. That means we can win a war when we fight. Alright, so one last question that was asked was if uh, this is going to be my last playthrough and if I have plans of doing any more. Absolutely, I've got plans of doing more. Um, turns out this is incredibly fun for me and I really, really enjoy it. So I don't know if I'll do... I'll probably wind up doing another Civ game. Uh, I'd like to do other games too, so anybody's got any ideas... Uh, preferably something historical, so at least it kind of goes along with the theme of the channel. Oh, oh yeah! Uh, but yeah, I'd totally be up for another Civ playthrough. I like it, because um, I know how to play it. 
uh, you can get a lot of videos out of a Civ playthrough because although the year is 1870, this game is nowhere near done. Uh, we are still a long way off. I uh, feel kind of kind of bad stabbing him in the back now, but we're going to. He got good land. So yeah, absolutely. Future Civ playthroughs, 100%. I'm not sure what I'll do next either. Maybe a Celt or uh, Sweden. Because I, you know, kind of like to give them a chance after the... Uh, Rather poor showing they had this game. Um, can I? Yes, I can. That was an incredibly long combat animation. Might turn those off for future recordings. We'll see. We'll see if I remember to do that. Probably not. Alright, so that's, that's, a, that's a nice little looking invasion force there. And now let's see if we can go talk to Theodora about her plotting. Melima. You know, just good. That won't stop her plotting. Oh. I'm sorry, Montezuma. Oh, wait, no! I'm not sorry at all. that That's the jerk that converted Vienna. Right! Now it's all coming back to me. Not sorry at all. He freaking deserves what's coming to him. In fact, I bet he made the whole Byzantine thing up. I bet you they're not coming after me. I guess I have to be at war with them to find out if I kick their ass or not. That gotta make sense. Alright, so I think I'm ahead of the Japanese then by almost a full research row. Let me just check that. Okay. Bye. Definitely not a full research row by like three techs. Still, it's good to have an advantage. Um, actually, did I? I have it. That's gonna be the first thing we do. We should really get those whales being used. Wow. Wow. Bergens is really far behind. Okay. Bring it. Okay. 
cannons. Down there, how far? Can you land this turn? No. Can you land there this turn? No. Sure. Why not? Alright, off to a good start. Uh, I guess I did kind of leave them out in the open. We gotta get that boat off or out of the water pretty quickly. Shouldn't be a problem. Wars. Thank you. Go over there. Get you some hit points and get you into cover. See, so now is going to be the time that the Byzantines declare war on me. Oh, I do already have boats there. Ah, oh, look at that. Well, at least I had fish to use, too. Okay. Secure. Oh, is that the end of movement? Oh, we captured a great profit right on. Make your freaking city. Oh, he's a Buddhist prophet? I don't want to spread Buddhism. It's Sikhism. the risk of sounding like a history nerd. When cavalry charges artillery, shouldn't the cavalry kind of wind up really, really dead? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. It's happened before, it, it'll happen again. But that just, that kind of seems weird to me. That they just wiped out my artillery and 
in one charge while taking really no damage. It was like, oh, you're gonna shoot cannons at us? Whatever. We're just gonna charge right into them and not even get hit. That sucks. <laughs> now I don't have any freaking artillery. Buddhist missionary. It seems like a waste, but I guess I could get him to build a, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get him to build a, a special building. Staying totally away from my machine gunners. Hmm. Less confident about this now. Although this friend seems to be going okay. Oh, my frigate sure is getting its ass kicked. Away! <laughs> yeah, that'll make us money. Okay. We'll get that for even more money. You bet. I think I kind of underestimated the military presence of the Aztecs. Or perhaps overestimated my ability? One of the two. This is really not turning out how I thought it was going to turn out. I was convinced this was going to be a cakewalk. <laughs> Turns out I was very, very wrong. At least if we can hold the beachhead. Yeah. Shields do nothing! Let's get you back and fix you up. Well, now I'm having serious second thoughts about my little Japanese excursion. Um. That's going to be such a good idea. In fact, I might have to bring units from here. And move them in. And I'm going to have to do that sooner than later because those guys are about to die. Not really about to, but they don't have long. Get out of my city! Or my empire! That's frustrating. I can't get too reactionary though, I've gotta kinda of stick to a plan. Otherwise, we'll just wind up in useless, endless, repetitive, stupid wars. Holy hell, where did that fleet come from? Yeah, I really underestimated the Aztec military. Boom! <laughs> that frigate's dead.
least we can do some damage. Yeah, this is not going to plan at all. Keep healing. Although, I mean, this front's turning out okay. We got cover. We got the only way into Valletta. Nicely, nicely defended. We might hold out there, provided they don't show up on boats. Oh yeah. Wow, that beachhead is not gonna last. Oh, he held out. Shame that infantry unit didn't get promoted, though. I could really use some bonus hit points on that. Oh, that ship's almost gone. I guess I can put it into port, can't I? That would be the smart thing to do. Uh, didn't see that coming, did ya? Boom! Damn. Hoping that would sink good. Definitely barrage. Mm, yep. Same with you. If I put him in the water, he'll get taken by one of their privateers. For sure. Uh, you're not working any sea resources, so that's not going to be all that helpful. No. Right. No, you're not going to spread your religion. You are going to not build a great. No Buddhists. <laughs> All right. Well, at least we're making money and our people are happy. <laughs> it's the little things, right? in my head right now. <laughs> I 
I mean, I guess it could, it really could be worse. We're not at war with anyone else. There's some coal down here. Yeah, we'll go get that. Um, there's no way I can get reinforcements there. That is blockaded. My only ship is crumbling to pieces. I can maybe go the long way. I might have to do that. I don't think they're going to live. Okay. We'll send the crossbowman first, because he's the least important. Should be able to hold off the lancers, and we'll we'll let those guys wait it out. I'm not sure that ship is healing. Klagenfurt. Everything costs money. I guess, I guess, I, yeah, I should be more up to date with the finances. We can afford an aqueduct. I want to build more units, but what I really need is a navy. Graz has a factory, right? No. How does... <sighs> Damn it. Alright. That's... Yeah. We weren't ready for this. At all. Oh well. I'm sure we'll pull through. Uh, I think I'm going to leave the video here. Well, I try and come up with a better solution for what's going on here. Maybe a different strategy. Maybe I'll just give up and decide to to take my Japanese army and throw it at the Aztecs. I really don't know. Yes, indeed. Alright, well, thank you all again for watching. Uh, thumbs up if you liked it. Comments, questions, concerns, jokes ideas, thoughts, whatever, you know, ramblings, feel free to post them below, and we'll see you guys next time.